unable to tell your apneas from your hypopneas and isn't RERA just a really enraging regular awakening to you? Well, have no fear CPAPers because your old pal Rubes from respyop.com is coming at you today with the med info. You're welcome. In case you didn't know, apneas, hypopneas, and rearers are all slightly different things. For a quick definition, an apnea is a pause in breathing that lasts for 10 seconds or more, while a hypopnea is a reduction in breathing that again lasts for at least 10 seconds, coupled with a drop in blood oxygen levels. Rearers, on the other hand, are breathing reduction events that lead to you waking up without crossing the thresholds required to count as either an apnea or a hypopnea. Make sense? Well, what I've just said is a pretty rough and ready guide of the differences, but for you to really know the differences, and I mean really know it, I'm going to have to lay down the medical definitions, and that means some fancy Greek words and some numbers. But they aren't scary, so here goes. First, apneas. The word apnea is derived from the Greek word apnos. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. And that simply means breathless. And that's basically what this is, a time of breathlessness. Technically, you suffer from an apnea even if you voluntarily hold your breath for at least 10 seconds. So divers and underwater swimmers and kids that hold their breath when they go through tunnels suffer from regular apnea events on purpose. Crazy people. Well, so to qualify as an apnea event, the airflow must drop by over 90% from its normal rate, where the normal rate is taken at the rate of breathing before the event began. And the airflow must stay at this highly reduced rate for 10 or more seconds. This huge reduction is pretty much a complete stop in breathing, and sometimes that happens, but it is possible to have a slight remaining airflow and still have an apnea event. Next comes hypopneas. The word hypopnea is made of two Greek words this time, hypo, which means below normal, and pnea, which means breathing. And that's basically what a hypopnea is, a time of below normal breathing. Those Greeks and their fancy names, eh? They had it sussed. Well, so to qualify as a hypopnea, the airflow needs to drop by at least 30% from its normal rate. And as with apneas, this drop must last for at least 10 seconds. Now, there is a huge difference between a 90% drop and a 30% drop. But to be a hypopnea, the reduction in airflow has to be accompanied by a blood oxygen reduction of, well, here it gets a bit tricky. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine recommends that a drop of 3% or more in oxygen saturation or an arousal from sleep that results from the airflow reduction should count as a hypopnea event. But insurance companies, on the other hand, try to avoid selling out for CPAP therapy when they can. And so, to no surprise of us, Many of them ignore the recommended criteria and go for what is called the acceptable criteria instead when analyzing sleep reports. The acceptable option will only count a hypopnea if the oxygen saturation drops by a minimum of 4% and they don't count arousals without the higher oxygen drop either. Judging hypopneas by the acceptable standard instead of the recommended one means fewer diagnoses of sleep apnea and fewer CPAP machines for their long suffering clients. How very acceptable of them. Now, if you have fully understand these definitions, defining a rearer is easy. It's a breathing event where airflow is reduced and you wake up. But for whatever reason, the event didn't qualify as either an apnea or a hypopnea, according to whichever standards are being used to tell. Oh, and R-E-R-A has nothing to do with Greek words. It simply stands for respiratory effort related arousal. We have fancy words for things in English too and it's still pretty much a description of what it is. And that's it. You've now passed the Resp Shop course on knowing the difference between apneas, hypopneas, and rearers. So go and boast about it to your friends. But before you do, remember to subscribe to our channel. Bye-bye for now, friends. And as always, sleep tight. Till next time.